<clears throat> All right, guys. Hey, thanks for joining me today. Um, spring input price shopping season. I thought it'd be kind of fun with all the whirlwind around FBN and AgVen this year to use each platform and see how easy, how nice was it to get pricing from them and how convenient was it. And so the very first thing I did was went to FBN and I got their app and that is their app and it says must be a member for members only. So I had to call to get pricing and the two things I wanted pricing on was Approach and Realm Q. They do not sell Approach and Realm Q, they sell the generic versions. So right off the top, that's how we're getting our 40 to 70% or saving our tens of thousands of dollars a year is because we're not comparing apples to apples. But anyhow, so they didn't have Approach, they had Headline for 169, they didn't have Realm Q, but they had Caprino for 441. Um, they also don't sell fertilizer, which is kind of odd for a farm organization, but whatever. Uh, and the only seed technology I could get was their generic uh, genetics. And when trying to do research upon their genetics to see how competitive they are, I found two people on the farm forums, I searched FBN, I found two people that submitted, that actually showed a test plot result, and in the test plot results, the seed savings did not make up for the yield loss. Um, so, you know, take it for the grain of salt it is, it's, I could only find two people willing to share their results. Um, the other thing I did notice around that was, when searching FBN on the Ag Forum was there was a tremendous amount of not drama but controversy. There was just a tremendous amount of controversy around the company itself, uh, their products, how how their whole organization works, um, why they're charging membership fees when they're not making money annually, and are they selling our data? What's really happening with our data? What is the, is there any integrity for the data, the farmer to farmer shared data? Um, so there's just a lot of controversy around that. Um, so then we went to AgVend. I'm not gonna dwell on FBN's negativity much, but we went to AgVend, get their app. There's their app. <clears throat> you just stroll up, what category do you, do you want? Well, we just go with fertilizer and then it opens up and uh, it opens up and there's your prices right there all your different products it's numerically and alphabetical there's all your products very easy uh, they sell name brand and generic because they're just like an Amazon they don't care they're not the product they're just the platform to move the product just like Amazon uh, you can get cropland mycogen as of this morning, the price was down for the seed, but this, so I asked about it and they said, well, the, you know, the seed industry is a very complex thing. They're in the middle of price changes, so they will be reposting prices soon. Uh, but approach 207, headline 225, so a little more expensive. Uh, Realm Q at 292, Caprino at 409, um, 28% at 182 a ton. So that that is cheap that is that is real cheap compared to last year oh that is that is a cheap nitrogen program um, shipping there is free shipping on some stuff it just depends who you buy from um, let's just pick I just picked blue tsunami it's a it's a little nitrogen product the thing that came up is it's free delivery on orders over twenty thousand dollars Okay, uh, otherwise it's $270 for anything less. And so, yep, shipping changes vendor by vendor and easy to use, simple pricing, um, no membership fees, no drama of calling in, no getting six to 10 phone calls over the next two weeks, no emails flooding you in. Um, as far as the experience between the two companies, pff, it, it, it's just too simple. Um, I will be deleting the FBN app because it's useless to me. Their prices aren't competitive with local. I have local wholesalers that are beating both these guys. So if the only thing I get from FBN is chemical, 
They're not competitive. They're not easy to use. It's not convenient. I, I have no need for them. Agvend, it takes seven seconds to look at what I want to find to compare to local. I'll keep the app and I'll keep checking. Uh, as far as controversy on the internet, looking at the farm forms on Eggvend, um, there was none. Either people, most people were like, yep, use them, worked great, or, oh, looked at them, found cheaper prices elsewhere, went elsewhere. That's it. There, there, there was zero controversy around it. Um, seems like a good platform to use. If you use one of these yourselves, let me know what was your experience of them, how did it work for you, um, if you're a user, how did the genetics work, and uh, we'll go from there. Oh, the other thing is with, with cropland mycogen, like any corn seed, you can go to first trials and, and compare. Um, so I just wanted to, I forgot about that, but yeah. So there you go. It is what it is. Guys, thanks for watching.